hi guys how are you doing so today's video is gonna be like a q a video while i paint a commissioned piece of bob marley um, you guys sent me some questions on instagram so in this video i'm gonna be answering all of those questions so i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe first question is how I started when I was little I loved coloring books I also loved watching art attack on Disney Channel also my brother used to draw a lot so I would always copy him when he draws stuff but I didn't do it a lot until like two years after I moved to the Netherlands at that time I was going through some things um, I was really alone and also I stopped going to school because I wasn't really doing what I wanted to do which was art because the way I was raised it was like if you want to be successful you have to be a doctor or a lawyer you know those kind of jobs so art as in career wasn't really on my mind but at that time i was really over it i just wanted to be happy so because i wasn't working and i wasn't going to school anymore i had a lot of free time so i would draw a lot and then i got curious about painting so i went to the store and bought the cheapest paint i could find that was watercolor paint after that i switched over to acrylics and i remember around that time is when i decided i really want to do this i really I'm, I'm gonna do art so i applied for three art schools so of course with art school there's admission and stuff so you can just get in when you apply you have to have a whole portfolio and stuff and they decide if they want to take you or not so i didn't get into any of the three schools i applied to but the great thing was i wasn't really discouraged at all because i did believe in myself and i did believe in my art so um it was more of like a push for me to be better than like a discouragement because I didn't get into any of the schools. So since then I started painting more and I also tried out oil painting and I fell in love. So <laughs> that's basically how I started. next question is how i get inspired um you can get inspired by a lot of different things but for me what inspires me the most is when i look at my old paintings and just to see how far i've come in such a short amount of time that really inspires me to just keep painting and keep practicing to be the best that i can be also what inspires me is that i have a pretty clear vision of how far i want to be in the future with my paintings so that also inspires me every day to keep painting but of course there are those days that you don't feel inspired or you don't feel motivated to paint which brings me to my next question which is what do you do when you're stuck with creativity um what i do is just i take a break i take as much time as i need i watch youtube videos 
One of my favorite art channels to watch are um, Jim Reno, Slu, and Lina Dania. Next question is how you find your art style and how you keep developing it. Honestly, at first I didn't even know I had an art style. I remember I was with a client one day and I went to give him his painting and we was talking and he was like, I really like your art style. And that really stuck with me. So I went to my paintings and I realized like, yeah, I really do have an art style. But I wasn't really doing anything on purpose. I was just trying my best to paint realistically. But I also really liked that smooth look. So I was blending everything out. So yeah, that's how I, I came to my art style. It was just... I just did it naturally. It wasn't really something like on purpose. So yeah. And how I keep developing it is just by practicing. I know it sounds cliche, but just practice a lot and you will get better. Next question is how to set a price on your artwork. Initially for me, it was a little difficult because I had no idea how to set a price on my artwork. I didn't want it to be too expensive because I thought that people wouldn't buy it if it was too expensive. Um, so at first I was pricing my art very very low but there were a lot of people that told me like I need to raise my prices. So I would suggest talk to some potential clients, um, see what they are willing to pay for your work. Um, a lot of the times they are willing to pay a lot more than you would think um also look at other artists that has like a similar art style to yours um look at what they're charging also look at how long they've been they've been painting and lastly just value your art um if you don't value it other people are not gonna do it you're the only one that knows how much effort you put into a painting or how much time you spend on a painting or how much money you use for products so just value your art I also got some questions about portrait painting and layering but I thought it would be better for me to show you so in next week's video I will be doing a full tutorial on how I paint a portrait <music> So that was it for today's video, I hope you like it, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.